Welcome back to Allie's Voice. I'm Allison Love Beatty, and here's today's issue. The Blasphemy of C-Peptide Removal Beta cells produce pro-insulin containing three chains, an A chain of insulin, a B chain of insulin, and a C chain that repairs the function of insulin, which is lowering blood sugar, also known as hypoglycemia. During the creation of insulin inside the beta cells, C-peptide ensures the proper assembly of the A and the B chains of insulin, their amino acid sequence and dulcified bond placement. One might refer to C-peptide as the protector of creation. C-peptide prevents the insulin from causing damage to the cell walls when blood sugar passes through. People with type 2 diabetes have a surplus of C-peptide, which causes insulin resistance, which means lots of protection from insulin. By the 1970s, Novo had come up with a purification method for highly purified animal insulins that extracted almost 100% of the C-peptide from the animal pancreas when they um, ground down the cells of the pancreas to produce the, the more natural insulins that uh, diabetics that had you know, been injecting animal insulins for decades before. I'll get back to that on tomorrow's issue. But patients that had been on animal insulins prior to changing to genetically modified insulin had less antibodies attacking their production because the antibodies created were destroying animal insulin and animal C-peptide, not human insulin and human C-peptide. This amelioration of antibodies gave the person with type 1 diabetes a fighting chance <laughs> to produce their own C-peptide. Yes, it was a very small amount, but still more than genetically modified insulins allowed and continue to allow. Again, the next issue we'll discuss. Why must type 1 suffer for the sake of business domination? Hint, they don't categorize diabetes by type or age group much these days. All insulin sold by Novo Nordisk, Eli Lilly, Sanofi Aventis, and any other manufacturer trying to get into the game are completely stripped of C-peptide. E. coli are injected with only the insulin polypeptides and not the C-peptide. This explains why Big Pharma took it out. 10% of type 1 diabetes will not make bank as much as type 2s will if they're using your product. All type 1s must have insulin. When your audience is captive, you have flexibility in your business decisions, even if it hurts 1 in 10 customers. The opportunity cost is worth it. Without C-peptide and insulin, everybody can use it. Type 2 is not as much a chronic disease as type 1. Big Pharma blueprinted type 1, the chronic disease, to make every person essentially a person with diabetes that is insulin dependent. Halle Berry, another topic we'll address at a future time. Please stop hating on her. I mean, bless her for having this baby and... A chronic disease is the perfect business model. Isn't it fascinating? Realizing that Big Pharma deliberately removed C-peptide from insulin so that they could instruct the E. coli to make genetically modified versions. C-peptide is the protector of creation. It's it's truly blasphemous to have stripped away pro-insulin because you're telling the creator himself, we see your insulin, but we think we can do it better. Please join me next time on the topics that I've mentioned we need to cover. Thanks for joining me, guys.